So we weren't planning on unboxing the ZTE Nubia 5 because, well, it took a long time to get here and second boxes usually look like this and that's extremely boring. But when your box looks like this, uh, you really want to take a look. So I'm Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing of the ZTE Nubia 5. There is a marching band practicing outside my office. I apologize for the noise if you can hear any, but this is the shipping box for the ZTE Nubia. And usually this is just a shipping box. It has nothing to do with the innards. But when I opened this at customs, just to check that the phone arrived okay, because I'm obviously not in the United States, I was surprised to see that this is pretty much part of the retail packaging. I don't think I've ever seen a shipping box that's prettier than this. And I worked for UPS at the past. So this is really interesting for me to see. I mean, when was the last time that you unboxed the phone that looked this good? Usually companies have lost touch on how unboxing experiences are so important for customers. And look, you open this flap, it says, thank you for choosing Nubia. It seems that they don't plan on having you say ZTE. And what we get here is the headphones, which look really interesting. They are in-ear headphones, kind of high end in the design, wall wart, USB cable. But when you pull the phone, the box of the phone, this feels plastic. I'm not really sure if it is plastic or if it is some sort of like really tough cardboard, but it feels really high-end, guys. I don't know how the unboxings of their high-end phones are, but this phone, which is not really that high-end, Snapdragon S4 Pro processor, nothing really big here, looks really, really nice. And so here's the phone. This is the Houston Rockets variant. Thank you, Michael Fisher, for that, even though I'm not a fan, but hey, that's that's great. Uh, and then inside, I guess we get literature here. And this is the phone. It is extremely lightweight, um, probably lighter than I was expecting. This is not non-removable battery. Again, the specifications are not great on this phone, but I'm going to be testing this phone for the next couple of weeks. So far, my unboxing experience has been so positive that I'm really looking forward to testing this phone out, even though it arrived here late. And so let's just try the initial boot here. It says, Nubia in a way that I really cannot read, but I guess it was intuitive in a way. And so again, I'm gonna be testing this phone for a week and then we're gonna give you our sort of mini review of this phone. So far again, my experience has been wow and wow. We get photos. Apparently this phone has a really good 13 megapixel camera, which I will be testing. And they're touting that in the initial boot of the phone. We get this little ring here at the bottom, which is really interesting. Personality, an attitude for life. Mm, interesting, that's an interesting quote. And so again, we're gonna be testing this phone for now, see how it is, but so far, again, Jaime Rivera from PocketNow.com, really impressed by this box. HTC and everybody else, please write this down. That's it for unboxing of the ZTE Nubia 5. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera, thank you very much for watching. We will see you on the review of this phone very soon.